Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name's Kristen. And today I'm showing a ton of stuff that I got from Born Pretty. But before I get into the things that I purchased myself, my representative sent over five colors of their Waterlight collection for me to test out as PR. This collection plus everything else that I got is just so great. So I'm very excited to share everything with you. Something I'm really grateful for when it comes to getting PR is that I end up trying shades and products that I never would have purchased on my own because I would not have bought these water light shades because they're so subtle and subtle isn't always my thing, but I'm so happy to have these. I was just blown away by how beautiful they were. Especially you'll see I do a second coat on all of them like when I show the swatches at the end they're kind of breathtaking So yeah, I've been really obsessed with these shades ever since I got them I can't wait to do a set using them. They're very They're giving very like minimalist clean girl aesthetic, but I'm just so obsessed This shade in particular is very water like it is so subtle, it's kind of crazy, but once you get the magnet going, that like whatever they're using for like the micro shimmer is just so gorgeous. This one especially came to life more with the second coat. Some of them don't even need a second coat. Some of them have like this beautiful effect on the first coat, but this one, unless you're putting it over something else, I felt like the second coat was pretty needed. This one has more of an opaque base and it looks so metallic out of the bottle. For some reason, the shade makes me think of cashmere. They're just so cozy and beautiful once the magnetic glitter is activated. So I do have an affiliate link with Born Pretty, which I'll link in the description. They are having a Black Friday sale right now. so. If there are any items that you want to try or anything you want to stock up on, it is a pretty good time to do that. I also have a code that I'll put on the screen which can save you 10% on your order as well. This video is kind of where I learned to do cat's eye a little bit better too before I always just held the magnet and made the straight line kind of thing, but this time I was really trying to go for that velvety effect. Actually, I don't know what to call that effect, but basically you just move the glitter away from the edges so that they're like more central and gives kind of like a spotlight effect maybe when you like move your fingers around. Man, I hope that made sense. Anyway, this color is so beautiful for like the upcoming Christmas season. I think I'm going to have to make a set of press on nails using this one. And this one's the last one we're gonna swatch from this collection. It's a more pewter tone. It also kind of gives me cozy cashmere vibes. I like this one a lot as well. Okay, here we are with all the swatches and their names. So Waterlight 01. And I don't know about y'all, but I am kind of like, I find these kind of breathtaking, I guess. I think they're so beautiful. The colors are much more neutral than what I would normally gravitate towards, with the exception of that red one. But yeah, I find them so hmm, captivating, mesmerizing. Please let me know your thoughts about this Waterlight collection. I am just so happy I got to try it. What a fun addition to my collection. And let me know if you think you're going to pick any up. And yeah, I just wanted to go through each and every one again because they're so beautiful. 
and hopefully now with the the numbers on them you can decide which ones that you would like. My favorites are the Waterlight 01 and the Waterlight 05. I think. Yeah, this is the one I want to try to use for a simple set on my own. And then I also really like I also really like the number 3, which is kind of a similar shade. Probably my least favorite is the Waterlight 02 just because it's so subtle, but it has a place. <laughs> and of course this red one is gorgeous. I just can't get enough of these. Okay, look how beautiful. All right, now that we've spent a decent amount of time <laughs> talking about these shades, let's get into the big pile of stuff that I purchased on my own. So <laughs> I was planning on doing an order from the Born Pretty website because I needed a five-in-one top gel. And since I had been so happy with all the PR I had been receiving from Born Pretty, I decided to try a bunch of other stuff as well. So yeah. <laughs> and of course, with Born Pretty, all their stuff is so reasonably priced that you can get quite a lot, even if you're on a budget. So I'm going to show everything I got and I'm going to do my best to show the prices as well. I wasn't familiar with this Silky White series, but I thought that this glitter would be just so beautiful for the winter time. This one here was a free gift with purchase. And I didn't realize it was a cat eye gel <laughs> at first. And I had added on a couple of these lucky bags, which is like the equivalent of getting a mystery gift, I guess. So I got this color, which is actually pretty, pretty nice. So when I swatched them, I did forget to use the cat's eye when I did the swatch. So at the end of the video, I will have an updated swatch for that shade. This glitter was very like thick and chunky. So I definitely need to use a lighter hand if I'm using it going forward. And then this color, I just thought was actually like a perfect everyday medium pink. I actually kind of love it. And then I also got this six color set of 90 holographic reflective cat eye gels, such a mouthful. But these gels are so multidimensional and so just beautiful, stunning. So I'm going to show the swatches of these in just a second. And yeah, Ari totally interrupted me <laughs> during this process. But anyway, <laughs> I ended up swatching all these colors on a black background because they just weren't giving what I wanted them to give on the clear swatch stick. But wow, on the black background, oh, they're just so gorgeous. I love the color shift. And there's such a good variety of different colors as well. Absolutely perfect for like galaxy nails. I have zero regrets about purchasing <laughs> this set of colors because they're stunning. Some of them have more color shift than the others. Like this one's pretty like, like a one champagne kind of tone. And then, yeah, this one's a good example. This one's got like this yellow kind of green to red shift to it. So beautiful. I was having like way too much fun looking at these. <laughs> the shift is so gorgeous. This last shade was the most subtle out of the set but still gave such a like beautiful, it's like a dark blue, dark violet shift. So yeah, that was a great pack. And then I got a lucky bag again, and it was basically a random six pack of colors. 
it didn't really have the name of the collection on there anywhere, but I figured out that it's like the Milky Jelly Candy or Candy Semi Jelly. Sorry. So these are all very like jelly candy colors, basically. <laughs> oh my God. They're so pretty. So I swatched them off camera and I'm just going to show show the swatches at the end of the video for these. But that was a really good price. I think this was just over $10 USD for six of these colors. It's the wrong season for these colors. These would have been very handy <laughs> for the summer, but a very good deal. This shade was part of their daily flash deal. I don't know how often that changes, but I was like, heck yeah, I'm going to get <laughs> this jelly color. It had like stars in it. And I don't have anything like that. So, you know, for less than a dollar, I felt like it would be worth it to give it a try. I also love the jelly blue shade. I would love to do this or use this color for a Christmas set. So this is how it was looking with just one coat and then I did a second coat on the back just to see which I would like better. I think I like the two coats better. I guess it would depend on what I was going for. But yeah, there's that color. Very pretty. I wasn't even going to show this because it was a free gift and it's basically what if cultural appropriation was a stamping plate. So... Yeah, not loving that one. Let's move on. For some reason, I wanted to get this LED little handheld nail lamp. I think because it has the little feet on it, so it'll stand up. But I already have one of these that works really well, but the one I have doesn't stand up. So <laughs> that's probably why I picked it up. It comes with a charge cord and everything, so... Yep, and then I got this two-piece liner set. Now, I I wanted to try these because the gold and silver liners that I've been using for the last couple of years, one, they're getting old, but they have a very, like, textured metallic to it. And this silver, in particular, has the smoothest metallic that I've ever seen on, like, a liner, like a silver liner gel. I was, like, a little floored. Because I have their metallic painting gel and I don't even think that stuff is as metallic as this liner is. Yeah, super impressed by this silver liner gel. The silver was a hard act to follow though because the gold was not giving that same smooth reflectiveness. This feels like a bit more of a bronzy gold to me or like a dirty gold which I like. I'm not much of a bright gold kind of person, but it didn't have that same smooth metallicness <laughs> that the silver one had, but still like miles better than the like previous gold one I was using, which was very textured. This was just a restock purchase for me. I used my last five in one glue gel, all like I used every last bit of it basically. And then I figured, well, I might as well get two. <laughs> so, because I don't really like make orders like this too, too often. So, for the products I really like, I thought it made sense for me to get a duplicate. And then I wanted to try their 5D sculpting gel. I had to squeeze pretty hard to get anything out of this one. As you can see, you can watch my struggle a little bit. But what I really liked um, when it did actually start coming out is it was just such a consistent like tube. <laughs> so just consist uh, consistent squirt <laughs> on this one. So um, while it lasts, I think I will use it. And FYI, this cured without a sticky layer, which is great, but the tube is looking like it's already a year old after me just doing that test squirt. So, sorry, I keep using the word squirt. I thought it was funny. <laughs> anyway, moving on. 
if you remember my last Born Pretty video, I had a couple of these milky jellies. Milky jelly number 13 was such a like showstopper and I wanted to get the black one. So here's milky jelly number 12 and I'll show the swatch at the end of the video. Next, I got this lucky bag, which I thought was only supposed to be a cent, but somehow a cent turns into 72 cents USD. But that's for me to figure out another day. <laughs> I didn't even know Born Pretty had acrylic powder, to be honest. So I guess I'll try that at some point. And then randomly, I saw these sugar cube rhinestones that I thought were just so delightful. Really beautiful. And I don't really have anything like this in my collection right now. So I grabbed them. Okay, so before we finish up the video, here's the swatches from that candy semi jelly collection. Really great colors for the summer. <laughs> I did another swatch of the gold and the silver because I was just vibing with them a bunch. Here's how the milky jelly number 12 is looking. More opaque than I was expecting, for sure. And then here is that glass cat eye purple shade swatched using the magnet and it looks way nicer it looks so beautiful and that's everything i got from born pretty which was a ton of stuff and if you made it to the end of the video thank you so so much for being here you're the best and i appreciate you so much let me know if you're gonna pick up anything during these born pretty black friday sales and i hope to see you in the next video bye